All right, I think you guys are really going to like today's RV renovation project. What we're going to do is uh, make a spot to put all of the shoes that collect at the front door for people that live uh, full-time in RVs. And I'm going to modify the back of this bench and allow us to access the space underneath of this bench, which is big. So that we can get our shoes in this space from this side where we don't have to take the bench apart each time to get to our shoes. Ours is a Jayco built trailer and there are just a bra two brackets, one on either side of the bench where the screws need to be removed here and here. And then if you can see down in between there, you can see those staples. They've actually stapled from this side of the board into this board to provide support below. So when you remove those screws, then this board will just pull away from those staples and lift out quite easily. And already you can see how this is shaping up to be an amazing modification to our trailer. All right, so I have that back panel outside here on my table saw. And I have marked out, you can see here, an area, that's the area that I'm going to remove from this back bench all the way along there. And then this space here will be accessible or open to the underside of that bench, which is where all our shoes will go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out now. At this point, there's very little material down here holding that big piece in. So you want to be careful moving it around until we get this final cut put in. Now on the opposite side, I have to turn the this panel upside down and cut it in reverse. So you want to make sure you have a nice sharp blade. And also, when I'm cutting, I'm going to stop short here so that on the front, the visible part, you don't see the crosshairs because of the angle of the blade.
Okay, so I just have this little bridge left here, and uh, because this is MDF, I'm just going to snap that off. It should come off fairly easily. And then what I'll do, I'll also go back here now with my multi-tool and clean that edge up so that it's nice and square uh, in preparation for the edge banding. Okay, so here's the, the little uh, bridge that was left over from my snapping off uh, after the table saw cut. I had to plunge cut so that I had a nice clean edge on the visible side of the bench. And what that left was a couple of lips here where you can see the cut marks. So I'm going to clean this up with my multi-tool and then I'm going to flatten these out a little bit with a sander so that it's uh, a nice flat surface to put the edge banding on. Purchased uh, some of this uh, iron-on edge banding from Lee Valley in a color that's very similar to the original Jayco uh, golden oak kind of color there. So what I'm going to do now is iron this on to the inside of this whole edge, and then also uh, I'm going to cut a shelf so we can have two layers of shoes in there, and I'll edge band edge band the face of the shelf as well. So you should probably avoid using the iron that your wife uses for your laundry. I keep this one with my tools for this purpose alone because uh, some glue does ooze out and end up on the iron which will transfer to your clothes. So this pre-glued stuff, you just got to take your time, make sure the glue sets fully on there Okay, so Lee Valley makes a couple of nice tools. This one here makes a, a nice uh, 90 degree cut along the edge. So you get flush uh, with, the, with the piece of cabinet. And this one here is a double edge trimmer. It's got knife blades on both sides. Problem with this kind of a situation is you can't go into a blind corner. There's no way. So I'm gonna run this this uh, cutter up as far as it can go then I'll come back this way all right so I put everything back together and now you can see oh no hang on cat wants to go outside and you can see now we've got uh, plenty of room for the shoes in fact there's extra space that you can see there underneath the bench so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back together So there's the bench, and then if I show you the front here, so pretty nice solution to hide away shoes for full-time RVers.